Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to jump into the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest, please. All right, what message do we have for Sagittarius this time? I'm pretty sure that was the card of new beginnings. Let's see. I only got a quick glimpse. New beginnings. Ah, you know, this second full moon in Capricorn that we just had really is a closure. Closing the door on something. Closing the door on the past. Closing the door on past versions of us. New beginnings, new doors open once we close the old doors. We have to close the old doors, though. And she's standing on what appears to be an image of the world. You might not even be fully aware of what new beginning is about to begin for you. If suffering in silence. This card has been very popular lately with the readings. Sometimes we stuff down old pain or current pain so deep down because we don't want to, first of all, we don't want to project it outwardly trapped in fear hope at the bottom okay don't give up Sag do not give up hold hope very strong to your heart what is happening right now there is a new door opening there is a new beginning yet we still have suffering in silence and trapped in fear there's a fear um, and this could be unconscious, subconscious fear of either visiting, revisiting, or allowing whatever is internally causing you to suffer out, expressing it, writing about it, talking about it, looking at it within yourself. You may have <laughs> hit it so deeply within you. That even when you're around those that you love and you're in an environment that is fun and happy and joyful, yeah, you're feeling it, but you're not feeling it like all of you. There's a part of you that's still suffering in silence. Get into that. And that's like the worst, you know. We get jaded on the journey of awakening and we want so badly to get back our true life force energy and the beautiful energy that we experienced, even experienced in our younger years of excitement, joy, happiness, fun, bliss, euphoria even. And even when we're given those opportunities, we notice that because we're closed down somewhere because of internal suffering and the fear holding that inside. So there's like an internal mm, protector or a manager that is like, nope, not safe. Not safe to let this out. Not safe to even go there. We're gonna just keep suppressing. Um, that will backfire on you. And if you're not able to release it, Uranus, the Great Awakener, the Liberator, will come in eventually and do it for you. Do something that we're not able to do for ourselves. Okay, seems as though that might be happening. Again, new beginnings, you don't know. <laughs> There's a new beginning under the moon. There's a mystery here. Wow, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It's not quite as deep as, as it seems. So you may on the surface be like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not suffering. I'm not trapped in fear, but you don't know yet because there's something new that's about to come your way. And this is just a, a warning or be mindful, pay attention, pay attention to what arises within you. Uh, the moon is emotional. This last full moon may have triggered this new beginning for you that you're not seeing quite yet. And it's interesting, the Pisces symbol. So something from the past or the past versions of you went through a decay and it's arising, it's opening new energy up for whatever the universe is bringing your way here, which is a beautiful energy. Suffering in silence. This speaks of you're not you, <laughs> communicating, expressing, letting it out quickly. Ah, get it out. So it's no longer causing you the suffering. You do know what this is. You might not realize how deeply it has affected your energy system and your life experience. But don't stay trapped in fear, or at least for long, whenever this new beginning arises for you, you have a new start, a fresh new start in whatever maybe a dream, a desire, a wish that maybe came to fruition quickly and fizzled out quickly or just hasn't been able to get up and go. You may have just, oh, well, I guess it's not meant to be kind of attitude. And that, that causes some internal suffering because it's something you truly actually desire. Um, when it does arise, notice any fear that may arise. Like, oh my God, am I ready for this? Am I prepared? I didn't expect this. Trust, have faith, the full. This is a new beginning all over again. New beginning for you. You got to um, take credit for all that you have overcome. This is a victory card. Victoriously overcoming your fears. And maybe you're already aware of this. I've faced my fear and I will continue to face my fear because when we do, we realize the only thing we had to fear was the actual fear itself. It's false evidence appearing real. Temperance, <laughs> love it. So actually Sagittarius, this might be something you've already overcome. If not, it's something that you are going through right now. Temperance, balancing out and regulating the emotions and not letting fear take over you, especially when presented with something that you may have thought never was going to happen. Too good to be true. Suddenly it's like, is this real? Is this really happening? Prince of Wands overall, again, talking about courage, strength, trust, faith, believing in yourself. Believing in your passion, your desires, your dreams, overcoming those fears. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. Let's get a couple more for you. If you're liking the video so far, please don't forget to click the like button, please. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Feel free to comment. I love reading all your comments. Okay. What else do we have for Sag? Clean slate, you know, that's always a nice thing. Let's just go into this unknown experience, unknown world, unknown universe with a clean slate, with a positive attitude. No longer suffering in silence. No longer staying trapped in fear. Oh, that's what I was picking up. Imposter syndrome. Suddenly it's like, I never thought that actually was going to happen. Now that it's happening, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually <laughs> prepared for it. Am I good enough? I feel like an imposter. This is a fear that you need to overcome. And the only way to really overcome imposter syndrome is to face your fears and go into it anyway. Know it's your passion. It's your dream. It's your desire. Wow, Sag. Don't give up <laughs> because prior to this energy, this new energy coming in, you've been pretty discontent and bored, <laughs> discontent and boredom. Like, well, if that's not going to happen, then I don't know. What am I going to do with my life? I guess I have to settle. 
Nope. Do not settle. This is a beautiful reading and I hope that this is helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.